Shaking like a rock in the bay. Let's not rehash the past, Carla. It's too painful. Thank you, Zoe. Don't worry. She feel numb inside. The doctor gave her a tranquilizer to calm her down. Don't you worry. You see, that's where we part company, Carla. Give me a break. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. You talk too much. Look, Zoe, just because you went to a junior college and I didn't, it doesn't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't worry, Frank. We always make up in bed. God bless Zoe. She's so good in bed. Mm. The best. Mm. Now listen to me, Frank. You too, Zoe. You may learn something. What I am suggesting to do is wait one extra day. If for some reason the two cars do not come up, you gotta go to the police this time. I'm sure it was Bosley. He tossed him out the window like nothing. Oh, my God. Where's Romy? I haven't seen Romy since morning. Have you seen her cousin Romy somewhere? I yeah. saw her last night at the party. Uh, talking about last night's party, did you call and check on the guy's condition? Is he still in critical condition? How can I call if I'm too busy looking for the pussycats? Tell me. You go go to the hospital. Come on, Zoe. Be a brave one. Are you ready for this? Our waiter Will croaked five minutes ago. What is croak? It means finished, Carlo. Hello, Dragon, Lady Zoe. Married forever and still kissing. If you weren't for Zoe here, I'd have kicked your ass. Swear to God. Give me a break. Now turn around and go back to your little twit over there and leave Carlo alone. God damn it!